Hi, Michael Maloney here. Welcome to my overview of Apple's Passbook. Passbook is an application that is native to the iPhone. This means that all iPhones come with it already installed. No downloading is required. You may even have used Passbook previously without knowing it when downloading and using it for boarding passes or event tickets. It's a pretty remarkable application. Let's see what it can do. You see the Passbook icon in the upper left hand corner here. I've put it onto its own page to highlight it. When you first open Passbook, you may see this home screen. However, if passes have been installed, you'll see passes when you open Passbook. You can get to the home screen by swiping down on the passes and clicking on the plus symbol in the upper right hand corner, and that takes you to the Passbook home screen. Now on the home screen, you'll see three links. At the bottom is a link to find apps for Passbook that takes you to the list of Passbook apps in the Apple App Store. Above that is a link to the Passbook QR code scanner that is used to scan QR codes and install passes into Passbook, which we'll cover in a bit. In the upper right corner is the word done. Clicking on this takes you back to the installed passes. Now you might be asking, Mike, how do passes get into Passbook? Well, passes are installed into Passbook one of four ways. SMS messages sent to the phone, email messages opened on the phone, airdrop of a pass from another iPhone, or by using the Passbook code scanner to scan QR codes on screen or in print. Let's see how each of these works. First, here's a text message that I've opened that contains a link to a pass. When I click on the link, the pass is downloaded to the phone and installed into Passbook. It's that easy. Email works the same way. The message is opened and we click the pass link which takes us to the download of the pass and it's installed into Passbook. A pass on someone else's iPhone can be transferred using Apple's AirDrop. We'll cover how to access AirDrop from a pass later on, but on the receiving side you'll get a notice that someone is sending you a pass and you can accept it or reject it. When you accept it, the pass will be installed on the phone. Now let's see how the Passbook QR code scanner is used to install a pass. From the Passbook homepage, we click on the scan code link to open the scanner. This uses the phone's camera, so point the camera at the QR code and the scanner will automatically capture the code and download the pass to be installed. Now that we've covered how passes get into the phone, let's review the pass itself. On the front of the pass, going from top to bottom, First is the pass logo and title. Below that is the pass image. On the pass image can be two lines of text, but only one is used on this pass. Just below the image are two more lines of text. These four lines of text are used to describe the offer being made or the message being relayed by the pass. Below that is the redemption QR code if it's used. In the lower left corner you'll notice a square symbol that allows the pass to be shared via airdrop. AirDrop allows users to share a pass directly to other iPhone users or send it via email, SMS, or other messaging application that may be on the phone. In the lower right hand corner is a circle with an I inside. This is the link to the back of the pass. There are two parts to the back of the pass. Pass management at the top of the pass and the additional information below that. First we'll review the pass management features. You can delete the pass by pressing delete and confirming that you want to delete the pass. The pass update status is shown at the center top. To manually update the pass, simply swipe the pass downward and release, and updates will be loaded into the pass. Again, clicking done in the upper right corner returns you to the front of the pass. Below that are two pass controls, automatic updates and show on lock screen. Automatic updates permits updates of the pass to be pushed to your phone. By enabling this feature, you will ensure that you get the latest offers being made. If disabled, Updates will have to be done manually as shown earlier. To disable automatic updates, simply swipe the control to the left. The second pass control, Show on Lock Screen, relates to time and location notifications that can be attached to the pass. If notifications are attached to the pass, this option will be shown. When enabled, it allows a short message to be displayed on your lock screen at certain time or based on your location. Turning this off disables this messaging to your lock screen. Below these pass controls are the additional data fields that are included in the pass. These can contain all sorts of dynamic information. For example, special offers can be described. Live links provide access to a rich variety of web content. Phone numbers can launch the phone dialer when clicked, and addresses can launch Apple Maps to provide directions to the user. 
On this pass, you'll see the first data field contains a short message from the pass issuer about their January specials. Below that is a link to their web page, and below that is a link to their Facebook page. Let's take a quick look. As you can see, the link takes us directly to the Seasonally Facebook page. What a great way to leverage social media. Now returning to the back of the pass, you'll notice that the pass isn't limited to the phone screen size. You can see the rest of the back of the pass by swiping upward on the screen. Notice that the phone number can be dialed automatically by clicking on the number. Now we'll go back and select the link to the Seasonally Yours webpage at mobilesavings.net. Here you'll notice several announcements as we scroll down and then find the January specials that relate to this pass. Well, that ends our tour of Passbook. As you can see, it's packed with all sorts of great features that enable a significant part of the mobile wallet future. To learn more about this future, please visit us at mobilesavings.net. Thank you for listening.